Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday the 19th of February. It's 47 degrees out here right now. It's uh, kind of that misty fog. It's not raining, but it's a misty fog out here. Everything's kind of damp. And um, so Anyway, I uh, was looking into the servo deal. One of the things you got to watch out for is having uh, accessory wires routing past it. Well, this started happening about the same time I put that that winch kit on it, on the Bronco. And, um, well, the wires for that run right past that. And if I remember right, I think they had you routing it a different way. So I may have to change that. So uh, I went through just for poops and giggles. I bumped the BEC voltage to 7.4 instead of the 6. And... uh I noticed that just playing around with it, that the steering stops were uh, were a little aggressive, so I had to back them off a little bit because it you can break suspension components if, if it's binding, and it was a little bit. <clears throat> I had to do with that K had to do that with the K10 as well. But uh, anyway, I have one of those new um, 3S 6000 milliamp, jeez, 120C, dude, that thing can dump some energy in a hurry. Let's play around here and see if uh, any of these changes made any difference. And I, I got the uh, the high density foam straightened out in the wheels too, so they don't go wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Let's just make a quick little little run here and see how things work out. Seems so smooth so far. Whoa, watch the throttle there, buddy. Man, I put that that battery in this thing and picked the car up. I'm like, what? in the heck so i took that well, the neighbor dogs over and leo doesn't like it um so i pick up a truck i'm like what the heck well, i don't pay attention as i'm walking around so i still had the 5200 um 2s battery sitting there and these are longer it fills the tray and uh anyway i um picked the other battery up the other uh, 3s and compared to <laughs> lord uh, that 3s must weigh literally twice what the 2s does i just those fusion pro motors listen how just ultimately silent and smooth i'm just holding the throttle in one little spot well until then now watch the look at the extra weights making the the rear wheels kick out. Really, I mean, I need to take Kelly's scale and see what the difference is between them batteries. And you know, you can see where the battery's at inside there. You know, it's about where them door handles are. So that actually puts that weight high in the vehicle. Those are all negative things, rock crawling things. You use that little, you buy the little small little almost square packs and you can get them super powerful you can get three s's in them they just don't last as long but uh you put them up front for uh for rock crawling i don't have the diff locks because i was arranging those tires it was way more than just that that one rear they were all wobble socky but i fixed all that man I think literally the ride height of the vehicle, there's no way that battery made that much of a difference. But every little thing adds. I don't have the disc lock, like I said. But, um, yeah, look, look at them little brass weights and stuff people put up front to keep the weight up front to keep them, uh, you know, from toppling over. That thing is literally riding lower, isn't it? riding so low it might not even make it over that oh yeah no problem let's play with our horse food bucket thing oh no diff locks the reason i i you know you'll see other people do the same thing and i i go oh yeah i can relate but with the diff locks off they turn super super smooth because it's just like locking the diffs on your in your truck the uh they don't steer 
because both front wheels are turning. They're, the differentials are locked. So they turn. I was just telling you guys about holding steady throttle and then it does a little lop, lop, lop over the hill. Going the other way, I think it's usually the problem child. Oh, look at that. Flopped over there like nobody's business. But turn sharper. You'll see the, uh, they'll even list turning, turning radius uh, diffs open, turning radius diffs closed. It's, it's shocking the difference. Just like your truck, you wouldn't drive around on anything hard. You have to be on loose ground or uh, those diffs being locked binds things up and creates all kinds of problems. I'm just hand holding the camera here. I'm not doing anything special. I just came out here just to play for a moment or two. And so far, that servo has not twitched once. Like I said yesterday, clearly you could see it. Ah, as soon as I said that, it just done it. No. Anyway, whatever reason, there seemed to be a relation between uh, it twitching and the uh, turn signals flashing. Man, that battery has a flat added some weight. Oh, don't tip her off the edge there, buddy. See, look at the difference from yesterday with the little, I mean, it's literally just about coming to the edge. That's just because of the lean in that, in that uh, ramp. I'm not gonna change it though. I like the, I like the added challenge. But anyway, I'm gonna bounce on that. This thing is 170 grams heavier than the two cell <laughs> 5200 but I went ripping put it in second gear went ripping across the the driveway of course with TSM set at a hundred percent and speaking of TSM I've been goofing around rock crawling at about 50 percent TSM and um, that may be what's going on with the drivability. Because I know I went out there one day after cracking up the uh, the K10 with zero TSM turned on. And I think I switched this thing to 50%. And uh, that may be causing some weird stuff too. But it only did it one time out there today. So, but yeah, that definitely adds some weight. And as you can see, even though... That's the 26 millimeter side. It uh, it stresses to hold all that in there. That's a heavy battery. Man, is it powerful. And I have the, um, the two in one because it has the ESC built into it and it auto detects whether it's two cell or three cell. I thought you could go up to four cell on these things. I might be thinking of the other one. I think told somebody it was higher than that. So I think the other one might be four cell and this one's three cell max with the battery. So it's about 9.9 .9 pounds when you take away the stand. That's crazy. Oh. I changed the units wrong. There's the grams. That's crazy, huh? Dang. Well, you can see it didn't get any prettier out here than what it's been. We just finished watching the Daytona 500 um, NASCAR race at Daytona Beach, Florida. That was pretty cool. But uh, you wouldn't believe just ripping this thing around oh i didn't record any of that with that uh three cell battery that uh <laughs> that bronco flat moves i had that uh i turned the uh, tsm way up on it to be safe with it 
Man, I, it's crazy how well that works. You just flip that thing to 100% and you almost can't get the thing out of control. You can just launch that thing. Well, anyway, I did quite a few high-speed runs out there. and Yeah, I, I spent a long time cleaning that thing up. That was a mess. That was a huge mess. So I put the other new battery in that one. Even though I have an old um, three cell 5200 that's literally the same size as those two cells. But it's a soft pack thing. But oddly enough, it weighs about the same as the new battery. I just didn't notice that there was that much weight difference in here. But I do like the much smaller size to it. One of the things is you can move the battery farther forward. I know it's not as good as putting it putting it in the tray, you know, right there in front of the steering servo. Another thing I noticed, I went through and just checking things out, see if what if I could figure out what was going on, why it twitched just that one time. But the other thing too, I had the uh, TSM um, set at fifty percent while I was doing that. Because when I went to turn it up to 100%, I go, oh, it's on 50%. Maybe that thing is weirding out doing just a slow speed rock crawling because you don't need the stability control stuff for that. So Anyway, I'm going to mess around with the old K10 here just just for a few. and That'll be it for I mean, doing nothing but raining. I've been messing around with stuff in the house, but yeah, it's just been kind of one of those quiet days. All the dogs are all chilling and we're just having fun. So I made some suspension adjustments on the K10 with the rear and I liked it, but I would literally have to cut the the fender well in the back here to keep it from, I mean, it makes it eat hard. But I kind of like the way it handled. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I put it back the way it was. I just fiddled with stuff. Oh, and I got the guards for this one as well. I was looking at it and it's just, it just beats the heck out of it. And I don't do any kind of serious crawling. It's just stuff out here and, um, not hurting anything. I mean, it's fine. They're designed to bang and crash along like that, but I don't know. I just don't like seeing things get scratched up a little $11 kit. I just thought if that gets all scratched up, I'll just throw it away and get another one, you know, <laughs> of course the parts to, to repair, what gets scratching this thing probably probably don't even cost that much. Ooh, she's doing a pitch slide there too, isn't she? This is that Z Run. It's the you know separate motor. It's a twenty eight hundred kilovolt with a with a separated ESC. This one's got some. Yeah, it, it really goes well. But um, it doesn't go quite as slow. Let's see. That's about minimum slow. You can go literally a snail's pace with the two and one 2300s there. Oh, you know, I was driving that thing around and I'm going, man, that thing's so quiet. You see it, you hear the, hear the old granny gear wind in it. I, um, yeah. When I went to do my speed run out there, I I go to click the transmission into into high gear, and well, she was already there, so I I crawled with it in high gear instead of low gear. It don't hurt nothing. The old K10. Love that Chevy body. Kelly really likes the new Ford F150 high trail. She's gonna get end up getting so interested in these things. We'll end up probably getting her own truck. Because the sport, you know, even though we just decided to, you know, swap that thing around, she goes, Well, it's still weird. It's still your you know, your uh, Christmas gift. I know, but who cares? What mine is ours, you know. We're we're big on that. But she just still afraid she's gonna hurt it. So if you get that F-150, I'd be way more afraid of hurting that than the, than the Sport. But she can do the same thing, bang around on the Sport and then just go slow and easy with the, uh, with the F-150. But yeah, we need to whoa up a little bit on the 
on the purchasing of new RC cars. Whoa, that is a decidedly not reverse. Kind of funny how your brain just loses its mind and just does the wrong thing. Come on around. I don't think I got you in the right spot, did I? I'm paying attention to shooting the bull with the peeps and not paying attention where I'm driving. And this one's the longest. I mean, the wheelbase is over 13 inches on this thing. So uh, she takes a little wider turns, but that's all right. We still love her. We still respect you, KG. <laughs> Look how far that, why is the rear kicking? Maybe there is a, well, it's probably, well, you know, I didn't weigh the, the old battery that was in here. I did weigh the, the truck with the other battery in there, and this weighs one pound less than that one. But this one doesn't have any of the lighting stuff, none of that BS in here. I didn't actually weigh the three cell that I was running in this thing the last couple times I drove it. I, I, I thought the battery was weak, so I just didn't use it. Actually, initially, I didn't even realize it was a three cell. I thought Ryan gave me two, two cells. And I'm going, well, that explains why that rustler on that, that ice day was going like a bandit out there. It had a three cell in it. And then I, uh, that two, the other one that was a two cell, um, it did. I, that's the one I accidentally left plugged in in the car for, for quite a while. I put the key bosh on that one. I did the old, I know you can find the tricks for bringing these things back, the lipos back when they get so low they turn themselves off. And it worked, everything was cool. Then the something went wrong in the charge cycle. And she scared us. You're not supposed to mess with them lipos. That's why they shut off like they do. Anyway, I'm just gonna goof out here for, around for a little bit i won't bore you guys anymore with it and, and uh we'll call it a day here in a little bit i'll maybe i'll bring the sport out here and goof around myself and anyway it's just been a very rc car and nascar day well hello there you two it is like precisely at sunset and even though it's all cloudy and a very light sprinkle it has this weird kind of orangish red color to it, it. does so Above all them clouds, there's probably an amazing sunset going on. Pop-up But from where we're standing, we can't see that. Nope. <laughs> but anyway, thought we'd bop out of here while there was some light and didn't have to sit somewhere with artificial light or anything weird like that. Just mm -hmm. use old natural and say goodbye to you guys. Sounds like a good idea. Man, talking about a chill weekend. It was. Yeah. My we got mom, stuff accomplished. Yeah. Mama's got into a couple of cleaning things and went crazy working on RC cars, doing all kinds of stuff, experimenting with stuff. And it was very fun, very relaxing, just crazy relaxing. Nice. Yep. But I think on that, we're going to end the weekend because that's, start, that's starting to pick up a little bit. So Yeah. It's starting to sprinkle a little yeah, heavier. Your eyeball glass is going to need the windshield yeah, wipers turned on. All right. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. All right. We'll see you then. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.